What's up guys, this is Brandon Smelly from EliteFTS.com bringing you another training log video with commentary. This is my training from Sunday. Um, heavy deadlifts are up. Working with uh, some block poles, uh, 4 inch for heavy triple. Worked up to 500 for a set of 3 and to be honest, coming into the session I just wasn't feeling it. I not feel like training, but I pushed myself to get in here anyways, put in work, and it took me 45 minutes to warm up to even get to 405, um, but after I got to 455, I took it for a single, was fine, 475 for a single felt really good, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going for 500, and I'll put as many as I can, I'll either take single, double, or triple, whatever I can do um, with it, and managed to get three, so no complaints there, I guess. Um, just hoping to hit maybe 5.15 or so in two weeks. Hit my back down sets, which came down to be 4.25 um, for three triples. These felt a lot better. Uh, I noticed one of my reps, bar kind of got out in front of me, and it looked like I was doing almost like a, a double pull, but what I realized was I was trying to you stretch shortening cycle to reload my hamstrings and with the position the bar was in I physically couldn't do it so that could be why the bar is feeling heavy because I'm a naturally fast lifter um, a result on my stretch shortening cycle my deadlift um, I'm just a fast person so if I can't get it to move it's a chance I'm not gonna get to move and grind it but if I can get it moving I'm probably gonna be running with it so these blocks probably were a good thing for me to use uh, because I actually had to get the bar moving in that spot, which really sucks. So should translate over well when I go to pull from the floor in about a month. Um, then I hit some safety squat bar good mornings against the monster mini bands. Uh, took a sumo stance with these. Really working on the uh, hamstrings, low back, and uh, glutes here. Um, trying to replicate that stance, um, being pitched forward, uh, really trying to keep that back nice and locked in. And with the safety squat bar, the thing is hard. Um, the bands to help force me to get up out of that position. Uh, basically, like trying to get the bar to break the floor on the deadlift. So uh, it worked out well. It sucked, but if it sucks, that ch chances are it's a good thing uh, that you need to be doing as long as you're doing it right. And my back position all looked great uh, so no complaints about that and um, that's pretty much it and then as you can see the accessory work here just had um, some upper back work and extra hamstring work and abs and then that's really it nice short brief session once I took the hour to pretty much get warmed up but uh, you can keep up my training logs on elitefts.com and thanks for checking in